Another day in lockdown and another little kit to build. Um, again, from our friends in China, get some great little kits from Banggood and eBay. So let's have a quick look at this one, see what this one does. Okay, so. Uh, we have a microphone in the middle. We have power input, capacitors, transistors and LEDs. So I presume this is going to be some sort of sound to light. So you speak into the microphone and the lights should light up. Three little resistors, all different values. That's going to be fun. So let's have a look at the components. Power cable. There's the two capacitors. LEDs. Power connector. And our resistors. Okay, let's have a look at this then. So as I've only got three resistors and they're only singles, I'm going to test them as I go along um, and put them on the board so I know which is which. Uh, and for that, uh, I have my tester. So let's pick up the first one then. Okay, so. Okay, so although it's a big number, that's a 10K, so let's put that on the board. Next one then. That'll be the one meg. So this is why I, I have to have the tester because if you look at those two resistors, uh, let's see if I can zoom in a bit for you. If you look at the colour coding on those two resistors, they look almost identical. In fact, to me, they do look I identical. But I believe the third band on one of them is orange and the other one's gold. But I can't tell the difference. Or, sorry, orange and green, not orange and gold, orange and green. Uh, anyway, um, I can't tell the difference on those. So that's why I've got my little tester. So, all things being equal, this should be the 4.7. Yep, there we go. So, we can put that one in as well. Right, so, what we can do now... Make sure those legs are bent out of the way. And we can get them soldered up. Okay.
Right, it's got them done. A bit close to the clamp, but it should be alright. Okay, so that's good. Oh dear. <laughs> um, and we've got the resistor that's decided to move. If you see that, so let's uh, let's just sort that out quickly. Okay, so next thing we need to do then is the capacitors and the transistors. Right, so the capacitors, long leg, short leg, short leg is negative, it's marked on the capacitor and that goes to the shaded area on the board. That's one and they're both the same. Oh no, they're not. Ooh, 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 ooh. 47 and 1. Let's have a quick look, see what this is. I actually had them right, but that's the 1 UF, so let's get that in first. Oh, I've also noticed that the plus is at the top and the plus is at the bottom on these, so they are the opposite way around. So be very careful with that. Okay, so that's got them done. Next is the two transistors. So the two transistors are the same, 9014. So I just dropped that on the table. So for these they have a, a flat and a rounded side. And you just follow the pattern that's on the board. Uh, so what I'm going to do with this is just pull the legs out very slightly. It just makes it easier to pop it in the board like that. There we go. Tighten that up slightly. There we go. Right. Let's get them soldered up. These look quite close together actually, so just be careful when you're soldering these. Okay, so there we go, that's them done. Right, let's have a look at this microphone. Right, so if we have a look at this board, on the microphone, it's got a plus on one side, obviously a ground or minus on the other side. Uh, but if we look at the actual microphone itself, there's no markings on the back as to which one it is. The only clue we've got is that this leg is connected to the case so I'm going to say that that is the ground because it's connected to the case and this one that's not connected to the case is the plus hope you can see that all right so 
so we will put that in so that's the ground on the right hand side Okay, so while we're here as well, we might as well stick the power connector on, which is here. Get a bit of blue tack just to hold it in place. Okay, so the last thing we need to do then <coughs> is the LEDs. So I need to move the board around. So there's no actual markings on the board, which is the plus and which is a ground. So on our LED, we've got long leg and short leg, long leg being the plus. Uh, but if you look at it, there's a triangle and a line. It's the bottom part of the triangle, which is the plus side. So the long leg needs to go to the bottom in our example here. So we'll put that down there. We'll solder those up. Right, now we've done the ones on the outside to make it easier to do the ones on the inside. Again, we're upside down, so the plus goes to the back of the triangle. There we go, and that's all the components done. Right, let's power it up and see what we get. First of all, we need to just strip these wires off. Okay, so it's a plus on the right, so let's just make sure we get that uh, the right way around. It's got a little key on it, so you can't really get it wrong. That is, if it goes in. Oh, 
Oh, that's tough. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> okay, I just need something just to put between those cables so they don't touch. Here we go. Right, let's switch it on and see what happens. Okay, so we've got a flash of LEDs, and if you saw that, turn the big lights out. Oh, here we go. So, let's see if I can get this to work. One, two, there we go. So, so yeah, that's reacting to uh, noise. Brilliant, there we go, another working circuit. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, join me again soon. And uh, please subscribe to the channel for more videos.